Hello everyone, welcome back to ByteVigor channel. In software development, sometimes we need to handle hierarchical structures of objects, such as files and folders in a file system. The composite design pattern provides a solution that allows us to treat individual objects and compositions of objects uniformly. Imagine you have a file system that contains files and folders. Folders can contain files or other folders. You want to handle files and folders uniformly, such as calculating their size or displaying their contents. The composite pattern allows you to create a tree structure to represent files and folders and handle them in a consistent way. Simply put, the composite pattern allows you to compose objects into tree structures to represent part-whole hierarchies. The composite pattern makes the client treat individual objects and compositions of objects uniformly. According to Wikipedia, the composite pattern is a structural design pattern that describes a group of objects that are to be treated in the same way as a single instance of an object. Implementing the composite pattern allows clients to treat individual objects and compositions uniformly. To better understand this pattern, let's use a simple file system example and implement the composite design pattern in Java. Suppose we have different types of files, such as text files and image files, and their composite objects, such as folders. First, we define a file interface with two methods, show and add. Then, we define concrete file classes, such as text file and image file, which implement the file interface. Note that while text file and image file implement the file interface, they only support the show operation and do not support adding. Next, we define a folder class, which also implements the file interface and contains a list of file objects to store its children. Now, we can create files and folders and call their show methods. In code here, we created a text file and an image file and added them to a folder. Then, we called the folder show method to display all its children. As you can see, although the folder is a composite object, we can still treat it like a single file and handle it uniformly. So, when should we use the composite design pattern? When you want to compose objects into tree structures to represent part-whole hierarchies, you can use the composite pattern. The composite pattern helps you handle individual objects and compositions uniformly. Finally, let's summarize today's lesson. The composite design pattern allows you to compose objects into tree structures, making the client treat individual objects and compositions uniformly. In actual development, the composite pattern can help us create more flexible and extensible systems, improving code maintainability. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to ByteVigor channel so you won't miss more exciting content. See you in the next video.